Uh, we're now going to show you how we do our B Lynch simulation using our B Lynch simulation model hooked to a table. This is the suture that we suggest people use, and what's important is that there is a very, very large needle. This is a CTX, and we suggest Vicryl or Chromic. You can find both, those, both of those in low resource areas. It's important that the only absorbable suture is used for this procedure, so Vicryl and Chromic are probably your best bets. So we're going to start. And the first step you need to do is make sure that you add a Kelly to the end of the suture so that as your surgeon is putting it through, it doesn't, they don't pull it all the way through. So your first stitch is going to be three centimeters below your hysterotomy and then three centimeters above. You then come around the back. And you're mirroring where your hysterotomy is, around that same level. And you can come through either with one or two stitches. And here's where your partner becomes important because you don't want to be pulling with the suture. It'll tear through a postpartum uterus. Instead, have your partner uh, push the uterus down for you. Now you're going to go three centimeters above your hysterotomy three centimeters below. And again, here's where your partner helps you. Your partner will push this down as far as they can. Some people roll it, some people just push so that you have a nice tight incision. And that's it. The question often comes up, what do you do if you don't have a hysterotomy? B lynches can be done on people who have had a vaginal delivery. They're having bleeding, you're going back um, for postpartum hemorrhage. You just sort of envision where that hysterotomy scar would be and you do three centimeters above and three centimeters below.